Hello, I'm Chris Williams from Read Comics, They're Bad For You. Or if you're watching this on my BitChute account, Comic Freak, today we're going to be discussing the bullying that the seven-year-old actress, Lexi Rabe, has been getting online. It's a sad thing to think in this world that a seven-year-old girl is getting bullied for various things from SJWs to a bunch of depraved fans who won't leave her alone in public and ask for her autograph. Now, I have my problems with this. Depraved fans might be a little strong. Maybe uh, fans that just don't know when to stop, I'd say, would be better. But others have used such things as strong language as saying the fans who approach Lexi Rabe out in public are going a bit too far. And I do agree with that. But still, her parents should be blamed partially for that as well. They are the ones who set up a, an account online for her on a social media account. So... Well, as I've as others have said, they say that you should think twice before giving your child access to such things. And I do agree with that. And I also agree with the fact that they've said they don't want their own child when they have given them access to such things to be left out and to feel ostracized as a freak. Now, if I had my own child, I would probably let her have it, but I'd probably monitor it every time she was online. With her friends, yeah, I'd still monitor, monitor it because I don't want her talking to anyone I don't approve of. But how to do that would be sounds like work, and it sounds like Lexi Rabe's parents aren't doing it. Now, also, she's getting grief for her role as Tony Stark's daughter. And that is bad because apparently the SJWs are partially responsible for this because they think that M the MCU is going to whitewash the character of Ironheart. Even though, in my opinion, opinion Lexi Rape's character should be known as Iron Maiden because the character of Riri Williams, the character that the SJWs think that Tony Stark's daughter is going to be taking the place of, is a totally terrible character. Riri Williams comes across in her own comic book, well, when she was doing playing as Iron Man, as a total psychopath who, as a child, demanded from her teacher that she be discriminated against. And her teacher said, fine, you'll never be Tony Stark, Iron Man. And that totally set her on the path to become... Iron Man. It's a stupid origin story. They couldn't have done anything more imaginative. It doesn't need to have anything like racism or anything like uh, discrimination against black people. You could have said that, well, Riri Williams is a genius and she puts her mind to it and she just built Iron Man armor. No, she needed this almost psychopathic display or psychopathic drive to get become Iron Man. You know, some mutants, when they gain powers, they train to become X-Men. They decide if they want to be superheroes or to live a normal life. Riri Williams is a genius who's capable of building super technology. You don't have to have anything more than that for an origin. She decided to become a superhero. But no. We get stuff like people tormenting a seven-year-old girl, Lexi Rabe, at airports or online on her social media account, even though her parents are, partial, are responsible for their daughter and making sure that she comes to no harm and they should be monitoring what she does online. And I have to say, I've seen what, well, I've heard a few words from Lexi Rabe, and she is very mature for her age. I don't know how much of it's just coaching and acting, acting, lessons from her parents when I, when I heard her talk about this, but she did come across as rather mellow-headed and even-tempered, more than it can say than the SJWs or any roving 
autograph fanatics. But I have to say, she seems to be taking it in stride. And even Robert Downey Jr. has come out on Lexi Rape's side saying, don't go after the little girl and that you are basically bullying her offline and that you should be ashamed of yourselves. Well, he didn't say maybe in those so much those words, but yeah, you get it. I think I got it across. And even other YouTubers have said this is the kind of behavior that has gotten, well, they've been accused of how dr they've driven off actors from online social media accounts. But this pretty much proves it's either an SJW or a the actual depraved fans who are stalking them. But they but it's been proven that it's more likely that it's from someone who's basically uh, left wing. And I do have to agree to that much, but I have to ask how much is of that that is fact. Others have pointed out that it, there's a good chance that there's no real proof that any J SJWs have had anything to do with this. Others have said yes. Others have said no. I would say that it's probably a yes, but we'll never know the full facts of this because we'd have to go through each little account and read them one by one to really know and have to research those people. And that sounds kind of impossible because there is such a thing as anonymity. So, so yes, I do believe that SJWs are partially responsible for this, as well as a few fans who don't know when to say, say take a no for an answer. I'll tell you this much. If they rename the character to Iron Maiden, have her be the new Iron Man, and make this a very good character, I would say that would be much better than having Riri Williams. Even her name sounds like Rian or Rian, and she comes across so bad in the comic books. I would prefer Lexi Rabe become the new Iron Maiden. I say Iron Maiden because that's the name for a hero. As others have said, and I agree with, Iron Heart, that's the name of a villain, and not a particularly good one at that. Sounds like one of your low-rent soldier villains who just take orders from the big mastermind. And it probably wears, uh, I don't know, probably a bucket of shame on their head. <laughs> Which I would say Riri Williams should. And this has nothing to do with the fact that Riri is an African American. She's just a totally terrible character. It was created by Brian Michael Bendis because he wanted to leave something for his own African American daughters to read. But even though it is based, his 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 efforts have basically tanked and they've basically partially chased him off of Marvel till it basically he is now working at DC is now ruining Superman. Here we can see even uh, Robert Downey Jr. as I've said before says say no to bullying. Hmm. And I have to ask myself is this good? Yeah it is but I have to wonder how much of this is a publicity stunt. I'm not accusing him of it. I'm just bringing this up because every time I see an actor doing anything like this, it just makes me cringe a bit. But he is doing the right thing. He's protecting the young actor, Lexi Rabe, or I should say actress. And I have to say that's good for him. It's a shame that we won't have any more Iron Man with Robert Downer Jr., but we will have more of, of superheroes in combat armor and stuff. We'll just might have to deal with War Machine, who's a great character. I would say leave, let uh, Tony Stark's daughter grow up and maybe get someone else to be Iron Man, Iron Man. And that includes Riri Williams. Let's leave her out of the MCU. Maybe, maybe create a new character. And then finally bring in, in, in Lexi Rape's character to even it out in a few years. Now, if you like this video, subscribe. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're watching my videos but you're not subscribed, please subscribe to me. Both at Re Read Comics, They're Bad For You on YouTube and Comic Freak on BitChute. Hit that bell for notifications and hit that like button and leave some comments down below. 
And remember, keep checking back in future videos for more information on my own upcoming independent comic book, Scum Dogs. It'll be great. Well, that's it for today. I'll be back again tomorrow with another review or video.